Hey gang, Matt here with Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're gonna talk about creating a cycle count report. In the previous video, we, we covered the basic settings uh, that each location needs in order to do cycle counts. Uh, I'm in the item master inquiry screen just because I wanna call out one field here that shows up in this top square and it's the date last counted. This will come into play a lot when you're doing cycle counts. Um, the system will use that date to determine uh, if an item sh is, is due to be counted, how many times it's been counted, things like that. Um, so that's the only reason I had this up on the screen. Uh, so we're going to come in here and I'm going to put in my location. And then I'm going to, if I wanted to, I could pick a different unit size. Most people just leave it standard unit size. Uh, I recommend checking all these uh, just because it gives you more numbers to look at to verify what you're, what you're counting. Uh, if you were only going to do one, I would say on hand. Um, I would not advocate... Uh, just doing the quantity available or obviously just quantity allocated. Uh, but definitely if you're doing lots, use the print lots button. I suppress uh, the anything with a zero quantity. Um, again, that's just a preference. Uh, number of items to be counted, number of bins to be counted. Now with the cycle counting system, it's gonna go out there and grab the amount of items uh, that it thinks you need to count based on your settings that you had put in before. Uh, but if you were just trying to do a quick cycle count and you wanted to be a little bit more controlled, uh, you could limit the amount of items, bins, um, and then that would obviously affect what gets printed out. And the rest of those items that it thinks should be counted will just kind of get thrown back into uh, into the hopper to get pulled out later. Uh, you have a couple different options for sorting. I generally go by item ascending. We're going to ignore this manual cycle count box because this overrides uh, a lot of everything uh, with the, the standard cycle counts actually pretty much everything with the standard cycle count this will just override this um, And that's pretty much it um, You can then print you have either then print the report or save it if you hit save it will also print the report um, You have to clear the screen to get out of it after you save um, But this is just a standard cycle count um, it, it is 11 pages, which seems like a lot, but um, It's just the way this report is set up. It's only like six or seven items per page and again, we could have limited those if we wanted to. Uh, in other videos, we'll cover how to actually enter your counts, how to delete your counts, and the importance of the last counted by date, and then also some manual cycle count reports, um, which was that other box that we talked about. Uh, if you guys have questions or videos you want to see on this topic or other topics, uh, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas will be here for your P21 needs.